r slash ask reddit. What do you use to remind yourself that everything isn't that bad? I don't need a wheelchair anymore. Your name wouldn't happen to be John Locke, would it? That comment gave me a smile, with an orange over my teeth. I can die later. The world is going to kill me whether I like it or not. So why not stick around for a few more decades and see what happens? In some ways it's comforting to know I don't have to do this forever and I don't have to kill myself. Curiosity and things to look forward to, even TV shows, games, movies, or visits from relatives. I always pick something to look forward to. I've heard that's a really good strategy for people struggling with suicidal thoughts. Pick one or two things that are coming out weeks or months from now. A new game, book, movie, whatever and remind yourself that you will miss out on that one thing if you go through with it. It's the little things that keep us going and it's the little things that are often the most important. Used to say this about finding out about how Game of Thrones would end and now I wish I just killed myself. This comment is honestly life changing. I've been feeling pretty down and was having suicidal ideation for a few weeks. This is a hopeful perspective. Something I've never thought of, but a way I can manage or rearrange those thoughts. Thank you. The universe existed for billions of years before humans, and will be for billions of years after. It's pretty cool that we have eyes and ears to look around and check it out for a while. It's pretty weird to think that this all could have existed without ever being seen by anyone. We're super lucky it was us that get to check it out. We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Carl Sagan. I'm not religious per se, but for some reason when I first heard this sentence it had a profound impact on me. We exist in this pocket of time. For a short while, and are quite possibly the only beings intelligent enough to explore the mysteries of the cosmos. So we as humans were birthed from it. By chance. And when we all move on so will our collective knowledge. And the universe may never know itself this well again. It's beautiful. And makes me realize how important it is to stay curious and not get caught up in the stresses of life. To ignore your curiosity is an injustice to the stardust you're made of. I try to remember that we're all just making it up as we go along. Biggest realization for me as an adult was when I learned nobody actually knows what they are doing. Just their best. I just realized this not too long ago and it was the most liberating thing to know that everyone is flying just as blind as I am. With respect to experiences of course. That realization for me sucked. Because it was related to my parents. They don't know shit. I think about the fact that all things considered I'm reasonably healthy and there's no warrant out for my arrest. Yet. I text a friend and see if they want to have dinner. We plan something and cook it with a good drink. Then another. Repeat as necessary. Life feels pretty good after a few drinks and dinner with friends. Also I get to try out a lot of new recipes. What are these friends you speak of? I learned in college the danger of having friends you also work with. So now I pretty much just don't have friends I can just invite over. I have a roof over my head. Yeah man we're not all that lucky. We have oxygen. Oxygen is nice right? My cat pretty much instinctively knows when I'm down. He gets very cuddly and won't leave my side if I'm upset. My fiance always says that he must be a loved one reincarnated. My name is Cat, and even though I'll cry some Timmer you know you not that when you're gloom and gloomy too. I'll haul you close. I am there for you. That's so cute. That despite the fact I suffer kidney failure and I am on dialysis 3 days a week, I remind myself that I am at least still alive and can still be with my family many other serious illnesses don't give that luxury. I would like to point out I am from UK for those who have asked. Scotland to be more specific. I want anyone reading this who does not have a loved one in kidney failure to consider becoming a non-directed kidney donor. In the United States, just 150-250 people donate this year, either shortening the deceased donor list or starting donor chains. This isn't like the blood marrow registry where 10 meters people are registered and just 6k are called each year. I donated 5 weeks ago and feel fantastic. You can truly make a difference in someone's life. For really just a week of hardship. I'm not homeless anymore. My chronic illness is in remission. So I can feed myself and even work outside the house. Life is good. When days are hard. And nights are long. When storms are raging rough. When all my dreams are not too strong. And hopes ain't hope enough. 
I close my eyes to hear the breeze. The secret words inside the whispered winds that shake the trees. The songs that skip and hide. I hear the rhymes that ride the tide. The swing. The sound. The beat the lines that swell and slip and slide in stanzas. Small and sweet. I hear the sounds that hold and wait for those who seek to find a safer shore. A surer state. A better frame of mind. When days are hard. When tempests cry a squall of aches and pains I close my eyes. And breathe a sigh. And poetry remains. This is beautiful. I'm very glad that you have poetry to help you be happy Sprog. Because you've absolutely spread that happiness to countless people on this ridiculous website. You're undoubtedly a gifted enough writer to take your talent literally anywhere else. But thank you for spending the effort entertaining us here on Reddit. That experiences with people is what matters most, not money or material. What if experiences with people is the problem? Experience different people. Hopefully this gets past all the award stuff. But one thing that reminds me that everything isn't all bad is that I have people and pets that want me around. I can have an utterly terrible day, come home, and my dog is waiting at the door to greet me. Every day, I'll go lay down, and he'll come cuddle with me. My sister notices the funk, and will make me dinner or a dessert or something to lift my spirits. And I don't have to say a word. I'm close enough with my best friend that he can notice something off about me just by the way I text. And he'll come over to play some video games and talk. Please. Please remember that there are people around you that love you and care for you. When you're having an utterly shit day. There are people that actively want to make it better because they care for you. You may not notice the ways that they do it. But they do. It can be as simple as just asking how your day was. They know. They can tell. Or as elaborate as taking you out to unwind and have a fun time to forget and relax. No one is ever alone in this world. Even if you feel it. And. If you genuinely feel it. Message me. I'm always welcoming conversations from anyone. So I'm having a bit of a day. Feeling kind of downtrodden and alone. And your post really lifted my spirits and reminded me to think of all the ways my loved ones do support me. I actually tid up a bit. In a good way. Just thought you might like to know. Thank you equals. My kids. They are helping me more than anything else right now. My kids are the best little a-holes I've ever known. It's so easy to have the worst duck in day ever. Then you get to see your little one who's stoked to see you and it's all peachy again. My kid will come running to me or his mom when we pick him up from daycare. Chatter and sing the whole way home in the car. Then ask for his favorite movie or something while grabbing his blanket and getting snuggies. At this point I think I need them more than he does. I remember that Yahoo hasn't given up. So why should I? Reminds me of a saying that I used to repeat to myself occasionally. If Internet Explorer is brave enough to ask to be your default browser, you can be brave enough to ask that girl out. I found this absolutely hilarious and one time it actually gave me the courage to ask somebody out lol. My love for deer on the side of the road. The ones that are alive. It reminds me the innocence of nature and makes me feel warm and alive. Glad you don't love the dead ones. Necrophilic bestiality is one hell of a kink. High school is almost over and a new chapter of my life is about to start. That I'm still breathing. After two suicide attempts I haven't had a negative thought like that in a long ducking time. A year to be exact. I haven't had a drink in a few weeks and yet. I'm starting back at a job that I lost a few years ago. Surprised that they're giving me another shot. Also, it's winter but it's been so beautiful the last week. And when my husband gets off work, we're gonna go down to the water and just kick it. I'm so glad you failed both times. Happy to hear you're doing so much better. That I know what Obama's last name is. On an infinite timeline. I somehow happen to exist at the same time as Rick and Morty and Honey Mustard and Onion Pretzel Bites. You don't know what you're missing out on my timeline. My youngest daughter Emma. She is one and a half years old and just knows how to enjoy every second of life. She wakes with a smile and goes to bed grinning while holding her Winnie the Pooh. She falls while walking and just dusts herself off and keeps going. Every time she hears a motorcycle she says, oh 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 and then vroom vroom while signing motorcycle. That I am not part of all the horror that is going on in the world. I am not part of all the by their parents abused teenagers. I am not living in an area where there is war. 
Hunger and no education. I have the extreme benefit of living in a good neighborhood, without any criminal activity. In general, I just compare myself to all the people in my age who have it way worse. Then I realize how lucky I am. How good everything really is. Someone somewhere has gone through something much worse and made it through. Why can't I? Remembering that statistically speaking, we live in the most peaceful and prosperous time in history, average lifespan is the longest it's ever been, and the world is slowly yet constantly getting better for everyone regardless of situation. It may not always look that way, but on average it is true. I go for a walk, sometimes a little sunshine will help ease my anxiety. Lack of money isn't that big of a deal when I remember that I have my health. A job I enjoy, and a partner that appreciates me. I look at my adult kids. They are happy, successful adults. Makes me feel satisfied that I did a good job as mom. My mom. She died from cancer at the age of 48 while my sister was addicted to heroin. My dad was cheating on her and was going through bankruptcy. Regardless she still showed people so much kindness and was a fantastic woman who was always smiling. I have depression and my life isn't so great right now but I always tell myself that it can get better and that if my mom could live day to day with a smile on her face so can I and I feel more people going through a terrible time can really use an example like her to at least give them a little push in the right direction. I have a very long list of things that give me a certain feeling, like appreciative nostalgia almost but not quite. A few things from it are, air conditioning in hotels, trains. Lucky numbers, being introduced to something new by someone you love, mixes labeled with themes like, rain, for sleeping, for driving, when the lights dim before previews in the movies. Art's mom. She makes me happy too, although I feel like it's for two very different reasons. I think of the soldiers in the trenches in World War 1. It puts things in perspective on when I'm getting up early for a stressful day in the office. That people with more money than me are also prone to just wasting it on dumb shit like reddit awards. The Preamble. I am in no way a badass and in no way am I scoreboarding anybody. Got mortared a few times in Afghanistan. After that, you come to realize that every day above ground is a gift. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru